Assalamualaikum and good day students. Today we will focus on the friction clutches. Let's see the question. Okay, this is the question. Actually, the question is telling you that there is a multiple plate clutches that is capable to transmit 25 kilowatt of power when it runs at 1575 RPM. So this is a brand new uh, friction clutch. Uh, then the question is asking you that uh, asking you to to predict what is the new uh, power that could be transmitted by the friction plate if they have run uh, for uh, several years of operation and then there is a wear and tear on the uh, plate clutch. So after several years of operation, the friction plate is already worn off by 1.25 mm. So you need to calculate the the power after after several years of operation. Then one you can stop my video and you understand first the question. I will proceed to the uh, graphic graphical explanation. So this is the graphical explanation. So this is basically the the idea on how the uh, friction plates uh, function. So the question is telling you that that is uh, that is a driving shaft, the engine driving shaft carried uh, three discs. Normally this is a metal disc. One, two, three. And then the question also telling you that at driven shaft connected to the gearbox, there is a two discs, which is this one is actually a friction plate, friction plate which uh, normally. The, the the plate is made of uh, made of ceramic made of uh, uh, Kevlar made of uh, a combination of asbestos the previous one so this is the one okay <coughs> uh, again the question is telling you that there is four pairs of contact surfaces this is number one the contact surfaces this is pair number two this is pair number three and then this is pair number four so there is a uh, four pairs of contact surfaces uh, given the internal diameter of a friction plate is 120 mm diameter and then the external diameter is 240 mm uh, there is a six unit of coil spring so the function of coil spring is to to compress uh, uh, to compress the plate together in uh, in order to to transmit the power from the engine to the to the gearbox, to the gearbox shaft, to the driven, the driven shaft. So the coil spring, the stiffness of the coil spring, each of the coils, uh, coil spring is 13 kN per meter. Uh, this, the engine is running at 1575 RPM and capable to transmit 25 uh, kW. So this, the, don't forget about the coefficient of friction given as a 0 0.3. So this is the idea of the equation. Okay, the first question is asking you to find the total torque that could be transmitted. So, uh, power generated from the engine is 25 kilowatt. Input shaft is running at uh, 1575 RPM. So, you know from the equation of uh, power equal to torque omega, then you can uh, manipulate the equation this is the power in watt and then this is the rpm so you got the uh, torque that could capable uh, uh, transmit by the engine so this is the answer the second question is asking you about uh, thrust force or the axial force so find the thrust force by the spring assuming uniform theory uniform pressure theory because of this is a brand new uh, clutches Axial force is actually Fa, meaning that your spring is uh, pressing the plate together. So this is Fa. From the equation of a uh, uniform pressure theory, actually the, the equation is T equal to uh, mu Fa R. R is the mean 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 radius, and n. Don't forget. 2 times n. n is actually number of pairs, contact surfaces, which is 4. So this is the one that you get from your calculation before. This is the friction uh, coefficient of friction 
and then this is the radius internal and external uh, and then this one is the number of pairs so you get the axial forces is equal to 1355 newton so the third question this is the one when when the system is already run for several years so all the plate over here so later after several years of operation each of the clutches contact surfaces plate has worn off by 1.25 mm meaning that all the contact surface over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 already worn off by 1.25 this one also 1.25 mm here also 1.25 mm so metal this contact surface have worn off by 1.25 mm the friction plate already worn off by 1.25 mm <coughs> So the spring uh, compression already reduced due to the wear and tear. So that is eight degradation surfaces, which is the total wear become eight times one point two five equal to ten mm. So that is a ten mm degradation of the spring compression force. Uh, we calculate the spring, then we calculate the spring force reduction using the F equal to K X. Remember that you have six units of coil spring. So the force reduction by the six unit of coil spring is equal to this is the stiffness of the uh, spring. This is the amount of uh, reduction uh, distance. And then this is the number of coil spring. So the axial force reduction already reduced by 780 newton then the new axial force you need to deduct the this is the the new axial force uh, i mean the existing after several years of uh, operation this one is the brand new axial force this is uh, the reduction of the axial force so uh, after several years of operation, the axial force become uh, reduced by deducting the new uh, axial force minus the reduction 1355 minus 780. So is uh, we, we we get the answer is 575. Then the new torque that could be transmitted due to wear is. Uh, using the equation of uniform wear this is the mean radius of uniform wear uh, fa we get it from the uh, axial force that is uh, appear when the clutches is already worn off so n is stand for number of pairs contact surfaces so this is the equation you just plug in all the data and then you got the answer 62 newton meter the torque that could be capable to be transmitted after several years of operation so the question is asking you about power so the new maximum power with the same rotational speed of 1575 rpm this is the uh, normal equation P equal to torque omega so this is the torque that you get just now and then this this, this is the uh, rotational speed in RPM then you get the, the power equal to 10.22 kilowatt so meaning that after years of operation then the, the the friction clutch already worn off so the new power is only about 10.22 uh, 10.22 uh, kilowatt so that's this guy hopefully the uh, FOC helped you a bit to understand better on the uh, friction classes uh, assalamualaikum and have a nice day